Returning from a deployment is always a really special um, time where you get to come around the corner and see your family for the first time. Usually we're closed up in Procedure Alpha, so we're up there on the upper decks uh, in, in our ceremonial uniforms and we basically spend the whole final period where the ship's coming alongside looking through the crowd to find our family. Uh, once you sort of lay eyes on them for the first time, that's a really special moment and it's quite, quite a happy moment, obviously. So on the 14th of May, uh, when Anzac was due home, at around 4.30 in the morning, the ship had entered or was approaching Coburn Sound, and we're actually so close that I could see my house. Um, at that time, we got a call come through to the ops room from our higher headquarters, which informed us of a developing search and rescue situation approximately 670 miles off the WA coast. At that point, we had to shift our focus from looking forward to getting home and seeing loved ones and family to the task at hand and how we we're gonna execute that operation. I got a phone call at 5.30 in the morning um, with, with Tim telling me to look out the window and you'll probably see the ship going in the, in the wrong direction. It's a pretty hard uh, thing to, to take on board but it's, I, I understand the, the operational requirements and what, what the crew needed to do. Uh, a little bit harder for a four-year-old and a one-year-old to comprehend. Being able to tell them that we weren't going to come home and, and having them be able to get that message from us as opposed to uh, from a generic type communication or, or a support organisation was a real positive because we could each talk to our loved ones and tell them not only that we weren't coming home but why. For the next 10 days there was a, a fair amount of communication with families back home but for operational reasons at times the communication uh, between the ship and shore was restricted. In that period, we managed to receive a video from Tim, which explained the situation uh, to our four-year-old son so he could understand uh, what, what was happening and why dad wasn't coming away. And that really helped us um, to manage, manage the situation because we got the message from dad. It wasn't just um, mum passing on the message. To be part of a rescue operation like this um, is really rewarding. The, the predominant reason behind that, I think, is that in the Navy we do a lot of training, a lot of exercises and a lot of preparation to be ready to do our job. And a search and rescue or a medivac is one of those opportunities where you have a really direct and measurable impact on someone else's life. You can't, you can't hold it against them for being away when it's such a phenomenal result that they come back with. And it, it makes me proud as a, as a serving member and as a spouse. We were away for about two and a half months in the end this time and I was just super excited to get home and see how the kids have changed and what new tricks and words they've learnt while I've been away. So it was really exciting to, to come around the corner and see them for the first time. I'm proud of you, Daddy. Thanks, bud. <laughs>